Okay, here's a new case. Suppose we have a hospital. And in this hospital, there's one person who's actually pretty darn healthy. This person isn't sick, it's not dying, anything like that. Basically just there for a checkup. Then we have five other people. Each person here is dying. They are all in dire need of an organ transplant. And each one needs a different organ. Oh, look, somebody got a job at a hospital after leaving the train station. It's John Stuart Mill. Yes, Mill got a job as an orderly. He's not a nurse or a doctor or anything like that. He helps around the hospital and he's been there for a while. And in fact, he's been keeping a very close eye out. He knows how things work at the hospital. He's been watching these five people who need organ transplants very closely. He's seen their families come and go, and they're all very worried. In fact, he's come to find out that if these people do not receive an organ transplant soon, as in the next day or so, they are all going to die. Mill has also become familiar with the person that's staying there who's otherwise healthy. This person is going to be discharged after tomorrow, and, well, weirdly enough, Mill has found out that this one person, who nobody has visited and hasn't talked about family or friends extensively at all, is a complete and perfect donor match for all the five people there. Becoming familiar with the donation system there at the hospital and the medical uh, community, Mill has found out that if something were to happen to this person, say this evening, then this person's organs would go to each of the five people waiting in the hospital. Since Mill has been there for a while and he knows what he's doing, he knows, while he's not a physician, he's not a nurse, he knows how things work as far as the equipment's concerned. Using his sneaky philosophy powers, he can approach the young person's bed, surreptitiously mess with the machines, all the while being careful not to get caught or discovered, and cause the young person's death without harming any of the organs involved. If Mill were to perform this activity, this person would die, and this person's organs would go to the, each of the other five, and they would live. Mill has been pondering this thought while he watches the other five. He realizes their end is near. He can either mess with the other person's machine and cause them to die, or he could do nothing, and these five will die. So Mill can either do nothing and five will die, or kill one and the five will live. The question is, what will Mill do?